Based on a poll among adults who regret getting tattoos, 33% say that they were too young when they got their tattoos. Assume that 11 adults who regret getting tattoos are randomly selected and find the indicated probability. We're going to complete parts A through D below. Now, the probability that we're given is 33%. So P is going to equal 0 0.33. And then how many were randomly selected were 11. So then that tells us the number of trials is equal to 11. Now let's go ahead and then answer the question. Find the probability that none of the selected adults say that they were too young to get tattoos. None would mean that you would have zero. So that would tell us that the probability of X would then equal zero. So using StatCrunch, we're going to select stat, highlight calculators, and then select binomial. We're going to enter the number of trials where n is equal to 11, and the probability of success is p is equal to 0 0.33. And then we're going to find the probability that none of the selected adults say that they were too young to get tattoos. So the probability of none is equal to the probability of x being equal to 0, and then we're going to click compute. So opening up in a stat crunch, we're going to select here stat calculators and then go to binomial okay and then what we're going to do is now put in the value of n which is equal to 11 and p is equal to 0 0.33 so n is equal to 11 our probability is 0 0.33 and we want to find out none so x is going to equal 0 and then select compute and then we have our probability Okay, so now rounding this to four decimal places according to the question, you can see that our probability is 0 0.0122. Thus, the probability that none of the selected adults say that they were too young to get tattoos is 0 0.0122. Okay, the next question says find the probability that exactly one of the selected adults says that he or she was too young to get tattoos. Now exactly one is now telling us that we should now find the probability of when x is equal to one. So we're going to be using the same information. We're going to go ahead and select stat, calculators, and binomial, which we already have that open. The number of trials again is 11. P is equal to 0 0.33. And then we're going to find the probability of exactly one. So now all we do is open up stat crunch and then change x to be equal to one because n is already in there and so is p. So let's click compute and then there we can see the probability of that. So let's go ahead and pull that in. Okay, so we can see what we get there for our probability. So rounding this to four decimal places, we're going to have to round up that one to a two because of the six over here. So therefore, the probability that exactly one of the selected adults says that he or she was too young to get tattoos is 0 0.0662. Okay, part C, it says, find the probability that the number of selected adults saying they were too young is 0 or 1. Okay, so one way of doing this is, we're looking for the probability that um, it's 0 or 1. Another way of saying this is that this is the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1. Or another way of saying this is that the probability of x being less than or equal to 1. Okay. So there's two ways to go about this. We can use StatCrunch or we can add them together. So let's first use StatCrunch because since it says 0 or 1, we're looking for less than or equal to 1. So we're going to go ahead and then put in that information for when it says one or fewer, or x is less than or equal to one. Let's go ahead and do that. So in this case here, we're gonna go ahead and sit, select less than or equal to one, and now we have everything else in there and we can see what the probability is gonna be. And it gives us 0 0.783, rounding that to four decimal places is 0 0.0784. Okay, now that's gonna give us that solution there. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We say 
Therefore, the probability that the number of selected adults saying they were too young is 0 or 1 is 0 .7, 0 0.0784. Now, what we could, have else, we could have done as well is added those two probabilities. Let's go back. We found the probability of 0 in the first one. We found the probability of the second one. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we add those together because that's the same thing. So if we take 0 0.0122 and then add 0 0.0662, we get 0 0.0784, which gives us the same result. So either way, you could either add those together using the definition or um, you can use stack crunch and know that the probability of X being less than or equal to 1. Okay, part D. It says if we randomly select 11 adults, is the probability of 1 a significantly low number who say that they were too young to get tattoos? Okay, so recall that from part C that we found the probability, the probability of 0 or 1, which is the same thing as the probability of 1 or fewer, or at most 1, gave us 0 0.0784. Because if it's significantly low, that means it's got to be less than or equal to the value of 1. So the significantly low is telling us that we need to make sure that x is less than or equal to 1. And this is the probability that we got. Now recall that having x successes among n trials is a significantly low number of successes if the probability of x or fewer successes is 0.05 or less. That is, x is a significantly low number if successes of p of x or fewer is less than or equal to 0.05. Now to determine that, we need to compare 0.0784 to 0.05. Now note that 0.0784 is greater than 0.05. And because of that, because it's greater than 0.05, we would say the answer is no, because the probability that at most one of the selected adults say that they were too young is greater than 0.05.